Justice. And this is my project. This is this is Mercury, Venus, Earth. That's the Moon. That's Mars. That's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Did you know that the the, the red dwarfs are about thirty thousand times bigger than Earth, and the Sun is around a million times bigger than Earth. And Stephenson 2-18, which is 1,500 times the size of the Sun, is around like, like, like 50 times higher than the Sun, but compared to Earth, that's around 1.5 billion times bigger than the Earth. And do you know the Sun's about 4.5 billion years, and will end in around 5.5 billion years, and like, like it will swell up and encase Saturn's orbit, and then it will like blow up, disintegrate the Earth, and then it will eventually, after a few million years, blow up. And did you know? After, like, uh, uh, I, on average, the sun's around 150 million kilometers away from the Earth, and uh, there are around 200 to 400 billion galaxies, I mean, stars in our galaxy alone, and there are around 500 billion seen galaxies in the known universe. And red dwarfs spawn their fuel so slowly, they last up to 10 trillion years. But the universe, and when they die, they, like, they turn into a black dwarf, which is theoretical because everything in the existing universe has only existed for 14.25 billion years. Thank you. I am so excited about the turnout tonight. We didn't know because we kind of have a little bit of rough weather outside tonight, but that did not keep people away. They're here for the space fair, which is just awesome. It's great to see so many families and so many kids out here just proud of their projects and just showing what they know about space. I love the turnout. And as we finished our, our unit, we saw the excitement in the students and they were saying that their mom was coming and their aunt and their grandma. And since COVID, we haven't been able to do a big event like this to showcase. My students with special needs did it just along with all the other fifth graders. And during the school day and right now, you would never know we had two different classes. So everybody got to do it at their level and look at the turnout. They're so excited. We had a planning team. It includes six students from Mrs. Robson's class and Mrs. Gang's class. My students, which is about nine students. And then we planned the, the music, the colors, the food, the time of the event, the invitations, um, anything else, the timeline that you see of space. We planned it all. They even bought the materials, all the decorations. Our class studied the novel Hidden Figures. and. These three women, Dorothy, Catherine, and Mary, we found out that they, back in 1953, were so smart in math, they wanted to be part of the NASA program. And when men were doing all the work, they said, wait a minute, I can do it too. And we found out that even through segregation, they said, we can do it. I want to play in your computers. At the end, they all got to help John Glenn get um, orbit the Earth, and then after John Glenn, they helped Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon. These women were phenomenal. If you can check out the movie, I would do that. Um, well, we had several things that we did. We've been learning all about space. That's our quarter two unit. But last week, we had a special guest visitor. Um, we did a Google Meet with a NASA engineer, and the students absolutely loved that. I think that got them really pumped up for the space fair this week. We had a day fair, actually yesterday, where students from all around the building got to come and see the students' projects. And we've spent probably three weeks researching, coming up with a rough draft, fine-tuning what they wanted to put on their projects, and then creating their final poster boards that they would have to show here tonight at the Space Fair. We do a lot of presenting in class. We have PowerPoint presentations, and they present in front of the class. And students, for a long time, I've noticed, haven't had an opportunity to create a poster board. When I was in school, you know, we did the trifold boards, and we presented them maybe at the a gate fair or a science fair. But we wanted to give all students that opportunity that haven't had that chance. And it's very different being in front of your peers and talking than it is in front of complete strangers and families and seeing your friends come around and asking you questions about them. It really is something that I think the students can take personal pride in. And I think that shows tonight with how many of them came and they're all standing by their boards, excited to show off what they learned. 
students for this project were able to choose whatever topic they wanted to about space. So they really could own the topic and pick something they were super interested in. We gave them a list to get them started with ideas of about 15 topics from asteroids to planets to stars. But some of them came up with some really unique ideas like breathing in space or walking in space. And those were things that weren't even on the list. That just kind of came to them. So after they picked their topic, they spent time doing research. And with that research, they had to sort of think, find out the who, what, when, where, why, how. That was the focus. So they had to do that for each of their topic. Like who found it if it was a planet? Or who discovered it? Um, if it was a person, it was who is the person? And we talked a lot about copying and pasting and learning how to do good research using good websites. Um, and then taking that information and putting it into their own words on the project board. When we did the project, I actually found out many of them had no idea how to design a board and put that together. So we spent a lot of time actually looking at examples and going over putting titles and what a subtitle is using capitals. So that was all very exciting. Man, I'm absolutely blown away by the space fair. It's so good. The enthusiasm and energy of the kids and the big turnout of the community just makes all of us proud and feel good. And I learned so much about space. I learned about our solar system, about the North Star. I learned about nebula. I learned a lot. What do you want to learn about? Well, tell me something that you learned. What did you cover? What was your project about? Um, NASA. NASA? Yeah. So what did you learn? Um, I learned like a lot of things about like one. I was just uh, and, like one fact so about NASA forget, we have these is system. number one. Poster. These are three uh, NASA uh, facts. Number one, NASA was found on July 29, 1958, in the United States. Number two, it officially opened for business on October 1, 1958. Number three. The Soviet launched the world's first artificial Sputnik one a year before that. Wow. This is a wonderful project. Did you have fun? Yeah. Aman, can you tell me about what you study? I study about black holes. And what did you learn? Um, I, well, this stuff we already knew. Uh, the four types of black holes is a black hole in the center of the galaxy called Solstice Cassagetilis A. And also, there's four million types of black holes. Did you enjoy the project? I mean, I'm not going to say I enjoyed it, I'm not going to say I hated it. <laughs> well, thank you. Good job. You did a great job. Tell me your name. Veronica. Veronica, tell me what is your project and what did you learn? Um, my project's about moons, and I learned that the moon is not its real name. Luna is its real name. So what, do you have another fact that you learned about the moon? Um, the moon is our fifth largest object in our whole entire solar system. How did you create your board? Because yours is 3D, it's really cool. Um, well, we bought the supplies from the store, and I put the moons on here, and I kind of splattered, like, paint everywhere. You did an amazing job. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Can you start by telling me your name? I'm Stella Jackson. Stella, tell me what you did your project on. Um, the solar system. What is something interesting or fun that you learned about the solar system? Well, there are two giant there are two gas giants and two ice giants. And what else did you learn? Well, it was discovered in in, in 1473. Did you enjoy this project? Very much. What did you enjoy about it? I enjoyed making it and getting to present it out here. You did an amazing job. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, can you start by telling me your name? Anna. Tell me what you did your project on. Zodiac signs. Okay, and what did you, why did you pick that topic? Because me and Paige really wanted to do it. What did you learn about your topic? That, um, 
signs are dangerous. Some of the signs could be rude, like really rude. Was there something particularly fun about it that you learned? Um, probably who made it. And you have a little something extra besides your board. What do you have in your lap? Um, some kinetic sand and um, charms. So why did you do that? What was that supposed to represent? Space. Very cool. I like the extra touch. Way to go the extra mile. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me your name. Kamila. And can you tell me what you did your project on? Um, Buzz the astronaut. And why did you pick this topic? Because I like astronauts. What did you learn about the astronaut? He walked on the moon twice. Are you glad you picked this topic? Yes. Well, congratulations. Your board looks great. Thank you. But I just want to hear all about the moon. How did you pick this topic? Well, I already knew a lot about it. So I really like the moon. It's my favorite in the solar system. So I wanted to learn a little more about it. I already knew a good handful, but why not learn more? OK, so my video producer just commented to me that I know your name, but I didn't introduce you to our audience, everybody. This is Piper. Hi. <laughs> you might, if you watch us on YouTube, you might remember Piper from the Chick Quest video that we did in third grade with Piper. She was one of our interviews then. You can find that on Pioneer TV YouTube. Piper, you are dressed in a space suit. Tell me, where did you get this? Amazon. <laughs> My favorite place. All right, so tell me how you created your light board. So I got a lot of supplies from the dollar store because they have those really cool lights. We got paper, we got, and we got a Sharpie because none of our Sharpies work. So we colored in the, part, the different parts of the moon that make up the moon phases. The moon goes from the new moon to the waxing crescent to the quarter moon to a waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, quarter moon, waning crescent, and then back to new moon. And then the cycle continues. This is fantastic. And I see you earned an outstanding ribbon already. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you want to be an astronaut now? Not really. I still want to be on Broadway. All right, tell me your name. Rentois. OK, tell me what you did your project on. I did it on the solar system. And you have a fantastic 3D project. How did you make this? Well, me and my mom went to the store, and we bought the plastic balls in sizes. Then we got the glue gun, and we glued all the planets. The sun fell off, so I had to really glue that. Did you enjoy the project? Yeah. What's something that you learned about the solar system? Well, I learned that Mercury is shrinking and that, and that Jupiter has dust storms, that Saturn's ring is all made out of asteroids. Well, you did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me your name. Mark Well. Tell me all about your project. What did you study, and what was your favorite fact that you learned? Black holes and their whereabouts. Their whereabouts? So what was um, the most interesting thing that you learned in your project? That black holes are not dangerous. Oh, really? I didn't know that either. That's very interesting. To Earth. Did you enjoy putting your project together? Yes. Well, you learned, you earned an amazing ribbon, so congratulations. Thank you. OK, my name is Aiden Lawyer. Um, my project is based off of stars, and it's the four biggest stars in the, in the universe. Um, so we have Huey Scuti as the biggest, and the second biggest is V766, Century AA, Kiwi Kigany, AH Scorpi. 
you know what? Um, why they're named the way they are? Um, the cooler, the more cooler names they have, um, the normally the better they are. Was uh, was it fun to work on your project? Oh, what? <laughs> I said, was it fun to work on your project? Yes, very fun. Hi, I am Athena, and my project is about is about um, galaxies. So, some interesting facts is um, it, there is over two billion, two hundred billion stars, and it is really dusty and it has a lot of gas. It was made. It was made from other galaxies. And it was discovered in the seventh century. Um, it's important because galaxies show us how the matter in the universe is organized large scale. Charles Me Me Charles Meser discovered the galaxies. All right, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you.